Hi, this is Kyle Thompson at Adobe. Uh, welcome to another Creative Suite podcast. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at how to create a style sheet that is uh, printer friendly using some of the features and tools inside of Dreamweaver. So right now I'm inside of Fi uh, Firefox and I'm taking a look at a page, uh, you know, a, a, actually a CSS starter page that comes with Dreamweaver. And I just want to show you what happens when I go to File Print and then preview this page. Um, what's going to happen is that the print device is going to print almost exactly the way it is shown in the browser, minus some coloring here, um, some of that gray and black coloring that we had in the background. But um, you know, I may want to develop a printer-friendly page, for example, and not have the header show up and the sidebar and this sidebar two over here and so forth. I may just want the user to print out the main content area of the page um, so that they can get to the meat of the content they're looking for. So let's jump over to Dreamweaver and take a look at how we can use some of the tools inside of there to, to help us out. So again, I'm using a, a CSS starter page that comes with uh, Dreamweaver. And I just wanted to do this to kind of show you a simple, easy example of how to go about developing a printer-friendly style sheet. So right now, this page is being um, is using the global.css file, and the global.css file in this case is being used to position content on the page and also to style and format text, and and so forth. And so, what I want to do is I want to also develop a new style sheet. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up our global.css file, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly just save it as a as print.css. So basically I've made a copy of our global.css file. And the second step I want to do is, well, let's close that because we don't need to have that open anymore. The second step that I want to do is I would like to um, include or attach that new style sheet to our page. So I'm going to right click or contr control click inside my page and go to CSS styles and go down to attach style sheet. And there it is, my print style sheet, and I'm going to link it. So it's going to create a link tag in the head um, in the head tag inside my page, and I'm also going to specify media equals print. And I'm going to click OK, and what it's just done for us is it has added a new link tag inside the head of our document, and we've defined it as print. Uh, the media type equals print. So the media type or media equals screen is showing or going to be used when you're displaying or rendering this out in the browser. That's the default uh, media type. Okay, so let's go back to design view. Now there's a nice little tool inside of Dreamweaver that came out or that showed up in Dreamweaver 8. Um, if you right click in, on top of the document window of your page and, and click style rendering, uh, you'll get a new menu bar that will allow you to work with um, different style sheets right here inside of Design View and actually see how they're going to render without having to go out and print it or you know if you're viewing it on a handheld device and so forth. Now in this case we're developing a print uh, style sheet so I'm going to go to print and notice nothing happened. Well nothing happened because you know it's displaying this page using the print style sheet now or the print.css file we created but it's exactly the same as the global.css so what I want to do is I want to come inside of here, uh, make sure you know you've clicked on the print icon inside the rendering toolbar, and I'm going to just start getting rid of what I don't want to show up on the page. I'm not really going to get rid of it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on various areas, like for example, um, my header div tag. Um, I'm using the tag inspector down at the bottom of the window to do that very easily. And you'll notice over here in our CSS panel, it's going to show me the current selection or a summary for the current selection on the screen and show me all the properties for that particular style. So inside of here I don't want the header to show up so I'm just gonna say you know when you print it so I'm gonna say display equals none and I'm gonna do this a couple more times. I'm gonna do it for the sidebar and another display equals none and we'll do it for the sidebar too And we'll leave the footer there. Um, we don't have any content in there except for footer, but we'll just leave it up there for uh, demo purposes. And the, the last thing I want to do is I have a little border, I think, coming around my style sheet. Do I have a little border here? No, I don't. Okay, we're good. 
So what I can do now is I can switch back and forth. So essentially now I have two different style sheets, one for the print media type and the other for the screen media type. And I can toggle back and forth now inside of Dreamweaver and view how they're going to look instead of you know going out to Firefox or uh, the browser and printing it from there and doing a print preview. So that's a quick and easy way on how to develop multiple style sheets for your pages and in this example specifically how you can quickly develop a print printer friendly style sheet that can be uh, used in conjunction with print devices. Alright well thank you for joining me and I'll catch you in the next podcast.